Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with Do It With Guy. Today I'm bringing you two MacBooks. As you can see here, I have the, they are both 16 inch. This is a 64 gig and this is the 16 gig. As you can see, they are stuck to each other. I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, there is a magnet right here for the screen. So the magnet, when it shuts and you connect them like that, they just stick together and I don't know what they're doing. So this is the MacBook on which I've been making videos. This is the 64 gigabyte. I showed you the unboxing video and I made another video where I was showing you or telling you my impression on this computer. And I am literally impressed and I'm still impressed by everything that I can do with this computer here. But as you can see in the title, I'm going to return it. So in this video, I'll tell you why I'm returning this MacBook and why I'm replacing it with this other one this is a 16 gigabyte unified memory a macbook pro first of all let's talk about uh, specifications first so this one is the m1 max with 10 core of cpu and 32 core gpu it also has 64 gigabyte of unified memory and one terabyte ssd and the other one that i just bought is the m1 pro with 10 core CPU and 16 core GPU, which is half what I have here. Also has one gigabyte of SSD and as I said, 16 gigabyte of unified memory. So why I bought this one? Because this is what I could get at the Apple store right away. This is like one of those stock versions. This is the best version for 16 inch. And all I upgraded in this one is the SSD. I went from 500 and 12 gigabyte to one terabyte which is good and don't miss the next video where i'm going to show you how this is going to be the computer that i'm going to keep and i'm going to compare it to the 64 gigabyte and you'll see why i choose this one here beside this one the other one that i could have gotten is the 32 gigabyte as you know right now it takes about a month or two to get a computer delivered if you are changing the configurations but if you go with the base or the stock version of it you can find it in the apple store so that's why i went and i bought this one here we're gonna come back to this later but why am i returning this one first of all there is a problem with the screen and that was what started everything because i bought it i was fine i didn't mind at all but then I noticed that I had a dead pixel on the screen. Right now, I'm trying to see it, but I can't because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it, um, it's gone. Like right now, I'm trying to see it, but I cannot. But mostly if I have a black background on the screen, I can see a dead pixel. It's clearly just red, as you can see on this screen here. And I even went to, uh, to an Apple store. They were able to do some diagnostic and they found that something was uh, definitely wrong with it. So a couple of days later, I even had someone reaching out to me from their engineering department asking me what was going on, if I can return the computer so they can take a look. But I couldn't do that because I'm working on it. Even at the Apple store, they asked me if I can leave the computer so I can order another one and i couldn't do it because i definitely need it for what i'm doing it can still work everything works fine beside the dead pixel so that was one thing and that was the first thing that started the whole return process in my head and then i started evaluating what i was doing i think 64 gigabyte is way too much unless i'm in hollywood for example and i do 3d animation every day and i just render a ton of projects or whatever but 64 is just way up there and in the next video i'm going to explain to you why the unify memory architecture works very differently from what we've known so far with intel and amd when it comes to memory that's why the 16 gigabyte that i have here does most of the job just fine without any problem and the 64 even though i said at the beginning like in my last video that I'll be using it for virtualization, for my networking lab, for uh, programming and so on, I can do most of that with my desktop, which has 94 gigabytes of memory. So I can do most of that there. Even right now, my GNS3 server, which is a VM, is located in this uh, desktop. 
and now i'm getting into more it networking and security stuff if you want to hear me talking about those go on my kb trainings channel that's where i talk about it all the time so i just realized that i don't have to have the 64 i can downgrade either to the 32 or the 16. i ordered a 32 at some point but as i said it was supposed to be delivered in a month or two in about two months i think and i couldn't wait i was like no i can't leave without a computer because this one is supposed to be returned by january 8th with the uh, holiday extension uh, return policy that they have so i have until january 8th to return this one here and um i'm glad that i already have the 16 gig that i'm going to compare to this in the next video so in terms of price this one i bought it for a little over four thousand dollars with taxes and everything but the 16 gig one, I got it for almost $2,000, a little less than $2,000 because I'm going to trade in my old computer, which is here. So I got some credit from this old one that I'm supposed to return to Apple. So after the credit is applied on my purchase, it's going to be around $2,000. So it is half the price of what I paid for the 64 gig. And as you're going to see in the next video, it does most of my workflow just fine so i'm happy to go back to the 16 instead of the 64 but i have to say that i'm kind of glad to return it because i had some regrets on some options that i picked first of all the color this is the silver one and this is the charcoal i feel like the silver it's a little too white and it gets dirty very easily and the the charcoal one is what i had in my uh, old mac i think it looks beautiful than the silver one and the second thing is the ssd this one with 64 gigabytes of memory and i think i could have gone with at least two terabyte of ssd instead of one terabyte it was just like a 400 dollars upgrade i didn't do that so i was kind of regretting it a little bit so now that i'm returning it i'm fine in this one i just got one terabyte because that was the only option that i could get from the apple store so i didn't want to wait any longer i just want to get my uh, final uh, computer and I'll keep this one for a while and I think it's gonna do the job as I'm going to show you but everything else about this computer hasn't changed it's still a beast but I just don't think it's a beast for me I think the 16 gig will do the job all right guys that's it for this video and as I said do not miss the next one where I'm going to compare these two computers the 64 gig maxed out to the 16 gigabyte base model we're going to see how they compare and why you can go for either of these two all right guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow me on facebook and instagram and if you like what i'm doing like the video and share it and subscribe to the channel to become a doer and be with me in my many projects that i do here thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care and bye